What's up guys? Welcome back to Backroad Driver. We are the Miser Brothers. We've got a really exciting video today. We're gonna find out if our Shelbys are about to blow up and have to have their engine repaired. And I'm not kidding. I hate to say that, but I'm really not kidding. Literally. So back on April 26th of 21, there was a TSB announced by Ford that just came out. What they're saying is, if you have this problem, you may need to have your complete engine rebuilt. We're talking new connecting rods, heads, um, a lot, it's bad. a lot of work. And it applies to both 2020s that we have, our 350 and 500, it's for a certain time period. We'll get into all those details here in just a minute. We're also gonna check the oil on both of these Mustangs. The 500 is due an oil change. It's got about 3,000 miles on it, but the oil life left is all the way down. So we're gonna see if we've lost any oil or used any oil. The 350 is in between oil changes. We shouldn't have used any oil on that one, but we're gonna check that and see what that level is. And then we're gonna check this TSB out. The TSB has you check inside the oil filler with a small dental mirror or something like that. And we're also gonna have the dealership do their due diligence as well, but we wanna know beforehand. And uh, the actual- We wanna show you guys. They're claiming that if you have this problem, you should have the vehicle towed to the dealership and do not drive it anymore. So it's, it's a pretty big deal. So all we've done is open the hood. Let's go check this stuff out. So this affects the 5.2 motor from Ford. That's the Predator and the Voodoo, the Predator and the 500, the Voodoo and the 350. Um, from anything built in early December 19 through mid-December of 20 and you will put the TSB the actual link to this thing in the description below so that you can actually have Everything you need to see if this affects your vehicle. Uh, let's check oil. He's just wiped this off I'm gonna pull a light over And you're seeing it as we see it guys It's in the acceptable range. I mean, it's right at it's, the bottom. It's about hole. right here. I mean, okay, so it's above the bottom hole. You've got to yeah. be between the holes, um, and we're definitely there. It's probably used a little bit, not used much. Used a little bit. It's about time to change this thing, though. Yeah. It's When's the last close. time this got drove? This hadn't been driven in probably three or four days. So it's sitting here. But it's bottom level. Everything's dripped off. So yeah, I mean, this could probably use a little oil. Yep. The cool thing about these is they both use 550. Um, that's the same thing that we put in our supercharged F-150. That doesn't go in a normal F-150, but we put it in there on the supercharged vehicle. That's what VMP recommends for our Odin truck. Yeah, I'm looking at it again. It is in the acceptable range, but... Um, you know how many miles is left before we should actually change on this? Probably a thousand. Okay, so yeah, that's probably acceptable then. Um, I mean, everybody that owns one of these 350s, check your oil all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's it's known. I it's mean, a hot, high revving. That's beer. why this TSB came out. It's because people are blowing their engines just at random with very low miles out of nowhere, and uh, you know. So let's check this thing, see if it's got a problem. Sam stopped by, I guess, uh, Wally World. Wally World and got some dental tools. We uh, kind of cheated. We looked at some of the other videos out on the internet to see what we needed. But you got to have a small mirror to be able to get small. that in. Smallest one I could find. There is a, um, a chain in here. So when you first look in, you're going to see this chain. This is not the chain you're looking for. You're actually looking below this inner chain, and there's going to be right there. It is. There's a little detent, and that should be popped out, and you should be able to see a line. And I can see it right here. I hope you can see that on camera. I don't Zoom think you're going to be able to see it on camera. I think we could put a picture up on the screen of what we should look like. Yeah, Are we good or not? This one is good. It, it's popped out. What that is down in there is a secondary timing chain tensioner. And what they're having a problem with is some of those aren't activating, so it's not popping out. Um, if that is the case, if yours doesn't have the line in it where it's popped out and activated, they're saying that you should have new heads, new connecting rods, new, I mean, a lot of Pistons. parts. It's crazy. Um, basically, you're going to have a new engine, or well, a rebuilt engine. 
Um, in a brand new 20 in a brand new car a couple months old vehicle up to a year old maybe i wonder if they changed the nameplate here where it says who built your engine <laughs> you know they scratched that guy's name out i'm yeah. not gonna show that well uh, i guess so uh, but they'll uh, update it and uh, the next guy will put his stuff down in there too engine, he I rebuilt guess. it so it looks like are you saying it looks like the 350 is good 350 is good you can see that tensioner of course we're gonna have ford look at it and say yes it is good uh, when we have the oil changed in it here real soon. Um, let's check the 500 out. Let's do. So if you're new to our channel, if you came for um, Sam's truck, the F-150 content, and that's a 2021, a lot of mods on it. Full playlist on that, by the way. This is our 2020 We call it Kong. This is our 2020 GT500. We call it Zilla. It does look like this is going to have a hard time going down in here. It is a little different between the Predator and the Voodoo. The Voodoo has plastic head covers and the cap comes right off and it's got a big opening. But on the Predator, it's a smaller hole here with a much smaller cap. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get down in there. But we are going to check the oil. And this is oil change time. Like I think I'm down to like 3% left. So we're wiping off the dirty. Can't believe you drove this thing so hard for so long. Without getting the oil change Brad <laughs> so we're at about 3,000 miles we bought it with 1500 on it I've driven it a lot because we've not had it but I guess a month or two and we put 1500 miles on it so a lot of fun to drive this thing kids love riding in it let's check this I hope it's not used oh you're in great shape this, this is awesome so 3,000 miles and we're at the top of between those two holes in good shape um you know, I would say that uh, on the 350, the reason it's a little low on oil is probably that time I was trying to get gas out of it before we had a car show. <laughs> <And I was, laughs> indoor car show. <laughs> indoor car show. I had to get, we had to get the tank level down. So I was out in that morning trying to get the gas level to drop a below a quarter of a tank. I was driving the crap out of that thing. I just was driving it around at high RPMs for a long time. Felt bad about doing it, but... We were trying to get it in a car show, but it's what they're for. That may be why that <laughs> one's a little lower. I don't know. All right, let's see if we can get the mirror in here and see if we can check this out. So let's see what we can let's see what we can find out here on the 500. Yeah. So it's the neck goes down in there. I can't get can't get this to fit. Um, show here, them with make the it, light. Show you with the light. So even yeah. with this smaller one on a 500, it ain't um, I'm not sure. Will this come off? We're Wait. gonna see if we can get that filler neck off. I mean, it moves around a little, but I, don't break. I don't want to break it. I hey, can you grind that mirror? If the mirror's plastic, can we kind of grind all that down? That's pro that's cheap mirror. I'm probably do that. Um, feel some stuff in here, but I don't know. Somebody at the factory, I mean at the dealership, probably could get that off, but I don't want to not have an oil cap on the 500. I'm sure it's not cheap. <laughs> uh, and especially if a piece of plastic broke off if and fell down there. If you can get it right now. It's 2021, man. Yeah. If that were to snap something off down there, it'd be bad. Let's so try to I'm make gonna, the mirror smaller. I'm going to make this a little smaller. So we'll grind this off a little bit. I don't need this for anything else. Um, so this thing is an inch and a sixteenth. It's not big. Wide, so it's not very big. So if whatever you find, if you're doing this on a 500, it's got to be smaller than that. Um, I'm use whatever you got. I'm gonna just hit this with the cutoff wheel. Is it glass? Uh, might be. <laughs> <laughs> it's dental, it could be glass. I'm not sure, it's grinding. I don't want to make it so small that it falls out though. When I stick I it down in there. I like think we're that. going to tape it. Well, now we're going to find out if it's plastic or not. It's it plastic. Dropped. That's good. So we can grind it down and then we can like, it's tape plastic. it. Or, 
Stick then I'll it. put some double sided tape on it. Yep. For that sure. way we don't lose it. You don't want that in the top of your heads. You don't want that in the engine at all. No. <laughs> Are you going to do each piece individually or just stick that back in there? I'm just going to do them individually. I'm professional. You don't lose a finger. I'm professional. Do not try this at home. I've used to be in metal fabrication for years. I know how to use a die grinder. <laughs> this is not proper way to use a die right. grinder. I don't want him to cut his finger off. I don't want him to cut his finger off. But calling yourself a professional right before you grind something with no glove on on a grinder wheel, you're almost asking for it at this point. Let's hope he doesn't cut his hand off. No, don't smoke it out. That just flipped over. Ah. So, we're good. So now the mirror's smaller. That's about all we needed is one side, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to knock a little bit more off of this. We'll tape it up. This is kind of janky way to do this. I hope the Ford techs have better equipment than we do. <laughs> Sam's gonna throw some tape on that. I wanna ask you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Comment down below, I subscribed. If you're a new subscriber, that way we can say what's up and thank you. Um, we're gonna check this out, but I do wanna say probably in our next video or in the next two videos, we are gonna do a four scan video with Sam's truck, the 2021. Um, we're probably shooting that tomorrow, but we're also getting brand new exhaust on the Wolf. That's our 2018 supercharged F-150. Um, I think you're gonna like it. It's custom. It's one-off. It's gonna be insane And we're gonna be showing you what that looks like in revs and startups that trucks getting worked over right now And we're actually turning the power up We'll have it on a dyno and give you new numbers and then we're gonna start racing people very very soon uh, Let's see what he's got There's our fancy new uh, Mirror that actually works. Yeah, make sure you tape that in there guys because if that mirror falls out when you're doing this the covers there, are coming off. Oh, man, it's not gonna be good. Let's check it out. Right, so we've escaped death on the 350 so far Sam's going in on the 500. I'm gonna get you in there real close I don't know that you're gonna be able to see I think the person holding the light and the dental yeah, tool this, this one down this neck It's almost impossible. So I'm gonna try to get you in here as close as we can so There's the chain What do you see? see that line man you're kidding I, I think this one may be bad dude you're kidding yeah that tensioner is not out look at out me, on this one. are you kidding it's me? not popped out on this one man it's not dude that's bad that's yeah real I, can't, bad. I can't see it i was hoping when we started making this video that we wouldn't have a problem if you got two that are in those dates like what are the odds, right? Are you screwing with me? Yeah, I'm screwing with you, man. It's what? It's good. <laughs> yeah, you're probably all right. It's not out as far as the other one, but uh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I got you. <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> it's probably all right, man. It's not pop. That one over there was obviously popped out. This one. It's only about half as far popped out as that one. Like, I'm you, glad you're kidding, but that gummit. But you can see the line that they're talking about on there. We'll I still, love this car. Gonna, We'll still have Ford check it out. We'll still have Ford check it out, but I gotcha. <laughs> Comment down below if I had you like I had Brad. He got me. I'm going to get him back. Uh, guys, if you want to see these cars rip, we've got two videos. I'll put them right here in the end card right now so you can check those out. Uh, one when we just got them wrapped and one where we take them and race them. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.